I've been thinking about this Henron design for a while now, with a view to maybe selling them one day. In my head, the design works perfectly, but that's often the way. Time to make a prototype. Now, there are three crucial elements to the design. It should be nice and safe for a couple of hens. Any teenager or adult should be able to move it around the garden easily. And it has to be transportable on a pallet so I can sell it across the country. Those three elements really limit the design, especially the size. So it will be for people who just want a couple of hens in the garden. A wheelbarrow was the obvious shape to start from. Two handles and a single wheel make an excellent way to move heavy weights around. So I spent a long while thinking about different arrangements and how to form the frame. But then I decided to try designing this without a frame at all. And it makes sense to put the nest box sitting over the wheel. I like this arrangement because hens prefer to climb up at night to roost and it's easier for the person to collect the eggs. And I had to make these brackets to hold the wheel, but they were simple enough. And this is my great new CNC router. Mostly I've been using it to cut out small stuff, so I haven't shown you. But um, now there's something bigger for it. And I used my homemade corrugating machine to make a curved roof for the roosting egg laying part. So far so good, I think. Now for the outside run part of the design. It has to be hen proof, fox proof, dog proof, cat proof and rust proof. I could use chicken mesh on a wooden frame or a metal frame, but perhaps this stuff is rigid enough on its own. This is galvanized weld mesh. It is expensive, but it should last a long, 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 long time. Figuring a way to attach the mesh end robustly to the nest box end was perhaps the biggest challenge of all because that joint will take a lot of pressure. Should the mesh go on top, fixed through the roof somehow, or should I have the roof on top? Either way, I was thinking I'd need to make some special brackets to connect the mesh to this thin board. 
But then, luckily, I had an idea. And I went back to the drawing board and to the router and came up with this. Took a bit of head scratching to get the indents in the right place, but now the mesh fits snugly into the panel and twisted wire should hold them together, I think. And then I made a new front panel too to match. This CNC router is a marvelous machine. And now it's really coming together. Now I'm showing you this long before it's finished because I realize that a lot of makers and designers watch this channel and I get lots of helpful comments on any project that I put up. Actually, I get, I get lots of unhelpful ones too, but that's okay. I have learned a huge amount from this YouTube channel from people like you. So feel free to throw in your comments about this project. I think I'll stick to the basic arrangement now that I can see how well it works. But if you can see anything that I could do to improve the finish or for ease of manufacturing, then please chip in. Thank you. As I say, this is the first prototype. I can see immediately that the wheel has to move forwards so the mesh run clears the ground better. But that would throw the weight back onto the human lifting the other end. Mm -hmm. And I have to work out how the handles would fit and ventilation and does it need a ladder for the hens? and two doors, um, or one at the front, and crucially, could I stand it on end on top of a pallet? I don't know. <laughs> but progress has been made. Watch this space. <laughs>